Prior to the spiking of the pass, the clock went to zero. The game is over. The Oregon Ducks win the 98th Rose Bowl. Chip Kelly finally captures a BCS victory. And another Pasadena heartbreak for the Badgers. Trophy will go north to Eugene, Oregon. A team that may have given LSU its best game of the year, and that was back in the opener. And then they were scratching and clawing to get back in that BCS battle. And what a hug for Alonzo, who played a great game after I told you he'd been in the coach's doghouse earlier special, this year. Very special moment, Brent, for Kiki Alonso, player that was in a doghouse, but also Chip Kelly went to bat for him, continued to believe in, and ends up having an outstanding game here in the biggest game of the year for the Oregon team. No question. What a crazy game that had about everything you can imagine. How about Russell Wilson giving the Badgers potentially a chance? They went right down the field. Bang, two plays. Who knows? One more second. Never know. And now you look back on that timeout, that lost timeout. Not only that, think of the Wisconsin season and their losses. Think of their last four losses. The three this year, the game last year against TCU came down to a two-point conversion. Tank, Petter, Tank uh, Carter knocks that ball down against Scott Tolzien. Badgers have been so close in so many big games. Just two passes away from a undisputed Big Ten championship and probably a trip to the national championship game, although who knows under that circumstance what would have happened in the in the conference championship game. But you've got to feel very happy for these Ducks. They battled Auburn all the way last year down in the desert for a national championship. The year before that, they lost to Ohio State here in Pasadena. Darren Thomas starting to mature as a quarterback. So we had to take a little bit of a break here, but come on back for the award ceremony. The Oregon Ducks are the Rose Bowl champions. So the Gatorade bath, the tradition, and Chip Kelly tried to run away from it. Not now, guys, not now. We've got to get the trophy. I want to congratulate Coach Bielman on his great year. So let's go back down now, and Herbie, take us through this last drive. Yeah, it's definitely worth going back and kind of catching our breath to remember Aberderis has that fair catch. They're way back inside their own 15-yard line. The first pass only takes about five or six seconds up, and then this is the big play, a little pump fake. He gets his man tuned downfield. Two seconds left. They try to get up to the line of scrimmage. You can see the referee right there starts to move his arm. The operator here starts to move the clock. Peter Kahn's and Russell Wilson, two of the best players, most experienced players, a little bit late in getting the snap up, and they just don't quite have enough time to get one more shot at the end zone. And Brett Bielma's thinking, my gosh, can I catch a break? And the big one here, the granddaddy of them all. So let's go down to Chris Fowler now for the trophy presentation. Chris. Brent, thank you. We've all seen something very special, folks. Not many of the 98 Rose Bowls have been as entertaining as this. Time now for the trophy presentation. We first recognize Mr. William Wang, the founder and the CEO of Vizio, and now Rick Jackson, the 2012 Tournament of Roses president, present the trophy, Rick. On behalf of the Tournament of Roses, I am pleased to present to you, Coach Kelly, the Rose Bowl Games Champions Trophy. Congratulations. Folks, I, I, I don't know how many of you were here for the 1917 Rose Bowl, but that was the last time and the only time the Oregon Ducks have won this game. Chip, what does this victory represent for the program? You know, for all of our fans out there, it's been 95 years since you could say Oregon Ducks Rose Bowl champions. 
And it's about this, this group by the way. You guys had to fight for four quarters, just as you have in a couple of big stages in recent years. What do you made the difference down the stretch? I think these kids just believe they have a faith in each other that it's always going to work out for them, and it's based on their preparation. They buy into everything. Our coaching staff and our players get along so well. There's a great chemistry between all of us because we love and respect each other. We'll talk to the two MVPs, one of them the defensive MVP, Kiko Alonso, a guy who's had an interesting journey or had to overcome a lot, his own mistakes and some bad luck. What does this represent to you as his coach the night he had this? Today? Yeah, I, I get welled up about that, but I love Kiko, and I told him it wasn't about his interception, but what he's done and how he's come back is what this deal's all about. He's an outstanding young man. I love the kid. Chip, congratulations. Let's speak now to the defensive player of the game. You're back here in your home state. We talked about your journey here, which has been, you know, some bad luck's been part of it. Your mistakes have been part of it. What does this represent to persevere and have this game? Man, it feels great. Uh, it's been a long run. We've been doing this since, since January, and we knew that we had to we had to go all the way, all four quarters. Man, it feels great. Your interception set up the game-winning points. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Let's bring in Lavoisier two and a couple of touchdowns. Your final game was an Oregon Duck. What does this represent to you? Man, that's uh, a great feeling. I mean, we, we worked hard to get to this point, and when we had the opportunity to, you know, come out like this, everyone stepped up and we won. Congratulations to the Ducks. Brent, back to you. All right, and up next on ESPN, the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Along with Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews and our entire crew, I'm Brent Musburger. We congratulate our 2012 Rose Bowl champions, the Oregon Ducks. Lavance Tunia and Tunia with eight catches for 158 yards and two touchdowns. Darren Thomas pulled the trigger. 17 to 23, 268 yards, three touchdowns, and the electric DeAnthony Thomas, two rushes, 155 yards, and two TDs. Now let's go to Glendale, Arizona, Stanford, and Oklahoma State. Are next, everybody. So long.